earlier on in this uh, place in uh, Masanafu, uh, it's where the murder of Sheikh Mohammed Chigundu plus his bodyguard only were able to identify as Sergeant Mukasa were murdered. Right now, police investigators are trying to do some of the final examinations of the scene to try to ascertain a few things. Uh <laughs> The only accounts that we have got from eyewitnesses are that there were two border borders that were trailing this car in which the late was traveling. And then uh, when they reached that point, one of them overtook and then the other one remained. Immediately they opened fire from both sides in front and from uh, the back, uh, targeting the bodyguard first. This is Sergeant Mukasa. And then later when the deceased came out to surrender to them, there was no other option that they had apart from to take his life on the spot. The Morka UPDF on a jang again. Nuaja pitch beating, never coaching a mono, a magical massassi, a mavega munda grammy mavega. Ramazoko a massassi, never hang a cigar de tambra, never call Mopira Guacono, where mavega. Neguamara, Basco, Musicali, and we over the Chicono, our from your own semicono watch. Nancy Nam Sam, Catty, never look about Nascao a saint. What a mundo word. We spoke to the police publicist Afande Felix Kawesi, who confirmed to us that as police, they believe that the murder here is connected to the crime wave that has been going on across the country uh, of murdering Muslim clerics. You know we have been uh, uh, handling this kind of crime since last year when we had uh, such similar incidents in Busoga. We had incidents in Kampala here, and this is part, it's part of that. Maybe it's the, the, the last trail of that. He is also confident that investigations are underway and they will be trailing these assailants until they get them. We've uh, arrested many, we are prosecuting many, but we believe we, are still, we still have such elements who are not yet neutralized. We believe we are going to neutralize them, and uh, we provided security to all the sheikhs that were under threats. The two bodies were taken to Molago Hospital for further post-mortem and also some forensic examination. We'll keep trailing what happened in this scene for you in our subsequent bulletins. My name is Solomon Kawesa here in Masanafu.